Hey, everybody, Ann here. And it became apparent to me after last night that my water collection system is woefully inadequate. So here's the upgrade. Nothing too fancy, just a plain old trash can, 32 gallons. I cut a big hole in the top. I have a screen that I just fit over the top of it and um, the lid fits back over the top of it so it's going to stay nice and secure. The only thing is, is I need to know that this tarp is going to stay put. So hopefully after tonight's rain, and it's going to be a big rain, this will work. And the trash can only costs $9.97. I can't afford one of those big expensive barrels right now. I know they'd be better. But, um, you know what, I think that's going to be fine for collecting water, for washing, watering plants, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, not going to drink it, but um, that's 32 gallons. That's a lot of water. I mean, that is great. So I've got that, plus the two five-gallon buckets, plus I've got a six-gallon tank um, filled with drinking water. I've got a three-gallon like igloo cooler that's filled with drinking water and I've got six or seven or eight one gallon milk jugs that I fill with uh, clean water as well. So, um, you know what? I think that that's gonna work out just fine for now at any rate. It had started raining. I tried to film it, but for some reason it didn't come out, but I noticed that the system was starting to fail. Right there where you see the arrow pointing, that's where all the water was coming out, of course, because you know what? It's tightest in that area and it was diverted down towards the ground. So I had to kind of try and figure out how to fix that and here's what I came up with. Okay, what I had to do basically is just let this go. So hopefully it won't fly away. I don't think it will. Um, but now, most of the water is going down in here. I can see that I am going to have to fix this, but it is absolutely pouring down rain right now. So when it stops raining, I will figure out a way to kind of secure this a little bit better. But it is coming down, and it is going into the bucket now. Most of it, but see, I'm still losing some over here. It's, co it's going, I mean, some of it is dripping in, some of it isn't. So, I'm going to have to figure this out. But, for right now, this is the best it's going to be. So, when it stops raining, I'll just have to fix it. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you can see this, but this is three quarters of the way full. And it has only been raining for, I would say, maybe 30 to 45 minutes. And it is... We're going to fill this thing up. We are going to fill this whole 32-gallon jug of water up, uh, jug, uh, trash can up. I'm so excited. I can't even talk right now. It's, it's working great. It is filling up fast, guys. Because all of you smart people told me to, I went and got some more sticks and branches and whatnot. And I would estimate, oh, I don't know, maybe about three inches total that I have filled this garden bed up with varying sizes and shapes and whatnot of sticks and twigs and whatnot. And some of it has already started decomposing. And one of the piles I got it from looked like an old burn site and like a burn ring, a fire ring. And I want you to see what the soil looks like underneath after a lot of the wood that was in it has already started rotting. First, take a look at all of this soil that is underneath of what's growing. It is all clay and clay compacts down. You can hardly grow anything in it. But look at this pile over here. This little area here looks like a spot where they had gathered a bunch of wood and set it on fire because a lot of the wood still has like some char on it but if you look underneath of it this soil that is arising from the decomposing wood is much much richer than the clay that surrounds it so I almost wanted to just pull all of this wood out but I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna just see what happens as time goes by to this little spot but underneath beautiful beautiful soil look at that look at that I bet you could grow stuff in it so yeah the premise is very sound that once matter breaks down into the soil it creates a beautiful luscious soil you can grow in 
Now I've got the layer of leaves in. A whole bunch of different kinds of leaves. Put quite a bit in. It's uh, about half full, really. But it's not packed down or anything. So I think this is going to be enough. I might could put some more in, but I'm going to go ahead and get the soil and hummus, hummus, however you say it, um, and manure mixture and start layering that in. And here it is after I've used up all my soil and hummus and manure. And uh, I bet a few of you know what I'm thinking right now. Tell me down in the comments section what you think I'm thinking about this. I could tell you what, I wish it was a little bit fuller, that's for sure. But I have used three bags of this organic hummus and manure and five bags of topsoil. Um, it comes to just about half and half. These are bigger bags. Um, so, here we go. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking of maybe getting some more soil to kind of bring it up a little bit further, but I can always add soil later. I'd really like to get some seeds planted. So, I tell you what, let me show you the seeds that I've got and am considering planting in this bed. Okay, I got a bunch of seed packets here and my hands are all dirty. Oh well. The front runners for this bed are garden beans. Um, these are Blue Lake. They grow under hot, humid condition. This bush bean keeps on producing when other varieties fail. Now, one thing I know about beans is they, um, at least I've read, is that they put off nitrogen as part of their developing process. And cucumbers. I want to plant cucumbers, too. Um, cucumbers need a lot of nitrogen. I know there's other plants that need a lot of nitrogen as well. So I was thinking of pairing the cu cucumbers in the back and trellis them up and then planting the bush beans in front. Now normally I grow pole beans, but um, I'm going to try this this year and see how they go. Alright, some other seeds that I have. Well, I'm not going to plant this for sure, but I've got dill. Um, and this is like the big dill, the, the ones that grow really, really tall. So I'm going to plant them in something else because I know that they, they spread and they kind of take over things. So. Um, I'm going to plant these, but somewhere else. Now, I've also got green peppers that I want to plant. I've got red, uh, they're Cubanelle peppers. I've, uh, actually, I've grown the red Marconi, giant red Marconi, and I did really, really well with them, and they were so delicious, and I grew them in a container, or several containers. So I want to plant those too. Jalapeno peppers, definitely I'm going to grow those. And, whoops, sweet banana peppers. So, what do you think? Should I just make it a pepper garden? Yikes, they're going all over the place. Or should I do the cucumbers and the beans? So, I don't know, should I plant today? Should I plant today? I want to really plant something today. I think I'm going to wait to plant today. Uh, I have to tell you something. I'm feeling like a little weird. This morning I woke up and I had a tick on me and it had fully embedded its head into my flesh in kind of a, like a delicate area on my chest and um, I got it out. I was able to pull the whole thing out, the head and everything, and it hurt. And believe me, I'm, I can tolerate a lot of pain. I mean, I've got tattoos. I, I can tolerate three hours of sitting for a tattoo with a row of five needles scraping over my skin and not even flinch once. But this really hurts. It hurts bad and um, it's starting to get swollen and it hurt pulling it out. So I don't know. I hope I don't get it, the Lyme disease or any of the other number of diseases you can get from tick bites. But um, so I'm just going to kind of chill out and see how the rest of the day goes and enjoy my little projects that I've been having and just kind of be happy over what I've accomplished thus far. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.